I'm Beth Clemente Peebler with Texas' Seed League and our Women Crush Wednesday this week, and for me, every other day of the week, is Miss Grace Atkinson. Hi, I'm Grace Atkinson. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a conversation. Just oh, okay. Talking. Hi, I'm Grace Atkinson. So, Grace is completing her first year of Quidditch this year. She played for Sam Houston State and now the League City Legends for the summer. So you're coming up on one full year. How was it? It was very, very interesting. A lot of learning constantly. Um, from beginning to end, I feel like I've got a pretty good grip on it, on what to do before, like, the very first time I ever played. I yeah. felt like a chicken without my head. Literally, I was just going in circles. But I had a lot of good teammates and coaches, like, coaching me the whole time and encouraging. I know, I still get a little bit nervous when I see you go in. I'm like, oh, don't hit anyone from behind. Oh, no yeah. two hands, don't punch them. That was, that was a hard transition. Like, not being able to grapple with two hands and not coming up from behind, that's, I still struggle with that. So what made it a hard transition? Where are you coming from? Uh, I came from rugby. And so like in rugby, you can tackle however you want. Jersey pull from behind. Uh, whatever gets the job done. Whatever, it, whatever gets the job done, except for the neck. The neck is always illegal. But coming here, like only being able to tackle from the front and like with one arm, it's very hard. And I like using two arms because I'm not. I don't have too much upper body strength. It's mostly my legs. So with one arm, I feel like I'm at a disadvantage. That's good. Once you learn how to use your legs, you'll be driving versus yeah. just trying to stop them with one arm. So a little bit of adjustment. You did wrestling as well, right? Yeah, I did wrestling in high school. That was fun. So yeah, I was looking for something like wrestling. I didn't know Sam had a wrestling team until I already joined rugby. So I was like, I'll stick with rugby for a little bit. And then I got hurt. And then I was like, okay, I'll try Quidditch because Travis. I met Travis freshman year. And he was like, yeah, come, Travis come. Travis Ward. Oh yeah, Travis Ward. I met him freshman year. He was like, come to Quidditch. And I was like, mm, no. <laughs> and then two years later, I was like, okay, I'll come. And then like the community is just, it's the best community. Everyone's so friendly and nice and goofy. And they're so easy. Was it, was he like your classmate or you just oh, came across um, him? Oh, I was sitting in the lunchroom and he came up to me and he was like, hey, do I know you? And I was like, no. And he was like, okay, can I sit with you? And I was like, sure. <laughs> I can picture that. I think that was a recruiting technique. I think he just saw you. Well, he, well, he like, was a freshman too at the time. <laughs> so we were just like, he hadn't joined Quidditch yet. Yeah. So he was just like, hey, can I sit with you? And I was like, sure. And then we just became friends after that. And he's yeah. a freshman. How long ago was this? Two years ago. Oh, so I he's the four years ago, three years ago. He's a senior now. Okay. I'm yeah. gonna say I guess he's just one of those guys that looks older than he is. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so you got into Quidditch through Travis, and you're playing captain this year, Sam. Uh, this past year it was Travis and Red. This upcoming year it'll be Sam and Baltimore. Okay. And as far as being a female on the Sam Houston team, so your leaders would be Cat Red. Who else was on our Anybody that's influenced you? Influenced me? Like, as a girl chasing? Yes. Oh, any girl chaser. Any. I watch everybody and I'm constantly trying to be like, okay, she's doing this. I, how can I, like, mimic that? This is working for her. And then I was like, okay, maybe if I try that. It doesn't work for me. Try something else somebody else is doing. Um, that's such a good habit to be in, though. <laughs> that's, what you, that's what all Quidditch players should be doing. I literally watch anybody because... They, I feel like you can learn something from anybody, no matter what their experience level is, like, and you can pick it up and like apply it to your game. And especially focus on girls that are your same like body type, yeah. same playing style, because you might get like a tall, lanky person or somebody that's real speed, and that might not be your game. Yeah, but I think that is, that is a very good habit to be <laughs> in, and I wish more people had that instinct. So you said the communities were really different. So you're comparing. Um, just from what I experienced in college, it's, um, it's a different community than other uh, clubs that I've been in. So uh, rugby? Uh, not necessarily per se rugby, just like I joined a couple of different other things and I feel like Quidditch was the most welcoming and like everyone, like even though you're meeting them for the first time, they're like, oh yeah, come on, let's go. And then everyone's just so goofy and I love it because I'm a super goofy person too, so I don't feel awkward around them when I am goofy because they're just as goofy. That's what I was about to say. I don't know how anyone could be mean to you. <laughs> I call Grace, like Grace is a ball of sunshine in human form. <laughs> 
So how's it? How's today been going? Today, uh, it's been going good. I got here a little late. Sorry, G. Um, flying in from Hawaii. Came here, got geared up. Oh, I guess we didn't say that. This is uh, oh, yeah. the ML. Championship going on behind us, so we have our game two against Rochester Whiteout next. And yeah, uh, this past game, my one goal was to get a couple good tackles in and make a point. I did flub on my point, but I got one good tackle in against the girl. That's all. That's always my goal, just to get like tackling. Keep working on that every game, and then getting a point and saying I'm so it's, it's always a nice tangible, <laughs> a tangible thing to say, hey, I put that one point on the board. <laughs> so the reason we're doing these interviews is because we have our Femme Fatale Fantasy Tournament in October 27th. I think I signed up for that. Did you? I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, so yeah. I think that'll be a cool in-between of your two experiences of playing on all-female teams and then bringing footage into it because this is a very inclusive community and a very yeah. inclusive sport, but I think this is a cool opportunity to kind of highlight, highlight the female talent. It's our time to shine. Yay! As you recall, uh, being a girl chaser, when I was first coming out, Travis would always tell me, he's like, okay, just because you're a girl doesn't mean that we don't like you and we don't want to use you. It's just your most valuable standing here. And so that's literally all I did. I was like, go over there and like stand. And then I figured out what I was doing and I got to move around more. But until then, he was like, it's okay. You can just stand here. That is exactly what I just talked to Casey about. Like when you join Quidditch, that's the first thing we tell you. Go stand by the hoops and catch the ball. Yeah. So her advice was to get good. Get good, yeah. Does that help you? Yeah. <laughs> Casey, she came from rugby too. Are we thinking about the same girl? Yeah, um, I don't know if she came from rugby. I think she joined Quidditch and then went to rugby. Oh, okay, yeah. So. Is she the girl with the rugby ninja shorts at every game? Probably. Okay, yeah. Travis always tells me to watch her. She's really good. Yeah. Good good to have <laughs> good to have like I don't know if like heroes is the right word, but maybe like role models. Yeah, role, role models. To kind of look past. So going into year two, I I am expecting good things out of you. Um, one thing I know I've seen the last couple of years with the Texas State players, because I, I usually watch them more than the uh, Tech or the Sam Houston players on Legends, is after that first MLK summer, there's such a huge step up because you're used to playing with different caliber teams. And for you specifically, um, you have a lot of your teammates on your summer yeah. team, so you'll have a little bit more of that chemistry. But don't let me down. Okay, no I will. pressure. All right. I will. No, I feel like just like coming from USQ to MLQ and throughout the summer, even though I started late, like I feel like I learned so much, and I felt like. Um, Oh, focus. Sorry. Focus. Sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like uh, I've improved just like on my field awareness and like knowing where to be and when to be there. It's it's the only way to get better yeah, to play. Just keep Scrimmages going. are one thing, but real game situations when they're coming for you, that's how you learn. So the more, the more experience, the better. And you guys are hosting the first tournament in the fall, huh? Yeah, breakfast taco. Are you gonna help out with plenty of it all, or just kind of coast? Uh, I'm one of the leader people, so I think I'm. I'm I think I'm helping out. on the TSL website. It's everywhere. Everywhere. I am Beth Clementi. Keebler. I am Grace Atkinson. Bye. 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 Bye.